This is a 1959 Cadillac Fleetwood Series 75 limousine. It was the pride of the royal family since its arrival in Qatar. It was imported in British country in a wooden crate via Beirut, as there were no vessels delivering to Qatar at that time. It was the first Cadillac sold by Mr. Ahmed Manar to the ex ruler of Qatar, Sheikh Ali bin Abdullah Al Thani in the year 1959. Upon his sad demise, this prized possession was inherited by his son, Sheikh Ahmad bin Ali bin Abdullah Al Thani. This Cadillac recalls the olden days when it was the official car of many royals and high-ranking officials during official visits to Qatar in that period. The 1959 Fleetwood 75 got its first real redesign since the early 1950s and it included the signature big fins. It was available as a nine-passenger sedan or limousine. The factory original limousine is considered a vintage American classic at its finest. Built at the height of the post-war American opulence and prosperity, they only built 690 limousines. This car has always been stored inside Manai New Vehicle Showroom for 14 years, but soon the car will undergo a restoration process. This is a 9-passenger limousine with division window. It still has its original parts inside and out. Here, we still have most of the original factory paint. We can find shallow scratches and swerves. Right side door has scratches caused by loose door guard. In my opinion, it would look a lot better with a ceramic coating to make it look like new again. We have here the original AM FM radio original cigarette lighters, missing knobs, and air condition controls. We have here the original steering wheel. The horn ring is broken and the steering wheel cover is peeling. Floor sidestep covers are screwed and needs to be restored and reattached. Inside, most door levers are intact. A window lever or knob is missing here. This rear window defogger is not functioning or detached. Doors and seats upholstery are beige in color and intact. I am not sure of the original color so I presume this is a discoloration. Here we are showing you the original dashboard, carpeting, and some interior upholstery that are showing visible screws. Some of the covers are actually coming out. Every piece of interior chrome still feels like the original. This division window switch is detached and motor is not running. All chairs and mechanisms are still intact. Standard brake and gas pedals are still attached and most likely are functioning well. This is the original chrome door handles and door guards. Most chrome parts are showing signs of degradation and needs polishing. Original tire rings need to be whitened and restored. Original quad headlights and chrome needs polishing. Also, the glass headlamp needs restoration. The fin tail lamp's stop light is no longer red. It has faded and turned orange. It is missing a right side mirror. Trunk cannot be opened to see if original tools and spare tires are still available. Lock cannot be opened by key. Under the hood, we have a clean 6.4 liter V8 engine and produces 325 horsepower, all of which was necessary to move the model's weight of almost 2.5 tons. Many of Cadillac's big cars went to wealthy families and were maintained well. Low production numbers 
also meant that part sourcing would be an adventure. Once this is completed, I am pretty sure that the car will turn heads no matter where it goes. This beauty is rare and a testament to Cadillac's glamour and prosperity of 1959. We will soon be seeing this car being driven around the roads of Qatar shortly after the restoration is completed. We all hope that you would follow our Manai Auto Facebook page and YouTube channel so that you will be notified of the next video for the complete restoration of the fully running 1959 Cadillac Fleetwood Series 75. See you all next time.